Hi, coaches. Uh, today, Mark and I are going to be talking about um, an approach to sharing, um, you know, wherever social media, online, um, in videos, in writing, um, around how you present yourself as a coach, um, which may be quite different from uh, what you may have heard elsewhere around presenting yourself as, as an expert or an authority, um, which I believe and we believe really help you connect better with people and build relationships. So um, we, we've we called this section, Show Your Work, and uh, I'm really excited to talk about it. Yeah, I'm really excited to hear um, your thoughts on this, because I really do think that if we can share more of how human we are, it really does make a much deeper connection with people rather than being an expert. And that's really the message of, um, of a three principles work to begin with anyhow. So I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts on this, Ankish. Yeah. You know, when I started out in this profession, Mark, um, there were a few people and I think this is still quite prevalent out in the coaching world who suggested that in order to be a successful coach, in order to, you know, make money and have clients that there, there needed to be, you know, a certain way that I presented myself. There's, there needed to be a certain way that coaches presented themselves. And, um, th there are still people teaching this now. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I don't want to say that I know exactly everyone's system, but one of the components of that is to be seen as an authority in your field. Um, it's to be seen as an expert. And uh, it makes sense. The idea is if you are seen as an authority or an expert, then, you know, you're credible and, you know, people will want to, to hire you. Um, now, there's nothing wrong with being credible. Uh, there's nothing wrong with um, being seen as someone who um, has a certain amount of knowledge. Of course, if uh, if people are going to be hiring you, um, you know that that's not necessarily a bad thing. However, the way that I you know understood a lot of what was being taught to me really. Um, it, it was it was kind of putting myself on a pedestal, you know. It was, um, you know, I I'm up here. I, I know this thing called three Ps. I'm an authority in the three Ps. I'm really credible. I know what I'm talking about, and I I became impressive. You know, it looked impressive what I was doing, um, but at the same time, I, I became intimidating to some people, and so. It, it didn't actually help my business. In, uh, in fact, what I noticed was I remember doing a talk a few years ago and I had spoken at this same place uh, a few years earlier and um, the impact was less. You know, the number of people who wanted to work with me was less. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about it. Hey, you know, I'm speaking with two, two more years experience under my belt I felt my talk was really good. I felt I was more confident. Um, overall, I thought I was way more impressive with what I had presented. But why was no one signing up with me? Yeah. And you know, I spoke it through with my coach, and and he helped me see that. Well, it's no surprise because, you know, being impressive isn't what creates clients. Mm -hmm. um, it's about building relationships and connecting with people. And uh, I I'd just forgotten that in the moment, but it, it's something that you know really made sense to me, or more sense to me than than presenting myself as an expert and authority when I was starting out, um, because I I realized myself I didn't just um, turn to people who who were like the 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 kind of the highest on the pedestal. Um, if, if you like, when I was setting out to learn something, I, I often tended to hire coaches or, um, 
you know, work with people who, who I had a relationship with, who I got a connection with, who seemed to know me and, and I knew them. And, you know, looking back, um, you know, I, now I didn't know this straight away. So if I look back in my first six, eight months of coaching, you know, I was learning loads about the principles. I was having so many insights. There were a lot of changes that were occurring because of that. And I didn't tell anyone. You know, I was kind of hiding it and I was like only wanting to put put out that like, yeah, I'm a coach now, you know, I'm, I'm a good investment, you know, all, all, all this stuff. Um, but in hindsight, I think what have, what would have really made a difference is if I'd been more open. Like, um, you know, on, I, I, I spent a lot of time on social media or, or, or some time on social media, I should say now. Um, but but really saying, hey, this is, hey, I've just signed up to this year-long course and I'm learning about this thing called the three principles. Even just saying that would have got people more curious, like, oh, what's what's he learning? Or I'm, I'm, I'm starting out training to be a coach. Um, here I am in London, you know, at this wonderful three-day event and I'm learning this, 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 and this. Um, you know, or if I sent an email out, you know, like this has been my biggest insight for in in the in the recent past um and i noticed like a little while later i started doing this with i, I would post on facebook but people can do this anywhere on an email list to a um to to, to instagram to, to wherever you are wherever you talk with your potential clients but i would start posting either the books that i was reading or the book i was reading at the time or then even pages from a book of something that really stood out to me. And I, I didn't really think about it too much, but it was really helpful because when, when people were interacting with me online, it wasn't just like, Hey, here's my next course. Here's how you can work with me. It wasn't all sales, but also it wasn't just the same thing, right? It was like, it, it was, hey, this is what's fresh for me. This is what I am learning. And I know I used to be afraid of, hey, if I present myself as a student, if I present myself as someone who's still learning, then no one will want to hire me because I'm supposed to be an expert. Mm. But, but actually, the opposite was true. And I started to notice as I did this more and more, people would connect with me um, and say, you know, we really respect that you are investing in doing this training and, hey, you you know, we now see you, you've been three years into this coaching thing and we see you flying here and there and you're doing that. And I saw this book, you, like you're really doing this, you know, wh wh what are you learning? There was a certain curiosity built. And now, you know, some people have been following me on social media for several years and they tell me, we've noticed the difference in your writing. We've noticed the difference in the way that you come across or we've noticed a difference in your videos. And so they've seen that growth over that period of time um, as opposed to, all right, I'm only going to put the best stuff out. I'm only going to put the most polished stuff out. I've got to appear really good. Um, and then I know some people will take off their old content, you know, from stuff they created a few years ago and I keep everything there because I want people to see, um, you know, this, this, this isn't an overnight thing. Mm. This hasn't been like, Hey, I, I did one training and, or I read one book and all of a sudden my life is perfect and I never have any problems. And, you know, there's nothing new for me to learn, but, but actually, no, I'm, I'm human. I, I get lost. I get caught out and I'm constantly learning things. And, we, you know, this kind of ties in a little bit to the idea of, of um, you know, stories. Because for, you know, thousands of years, the ways that humans shared information was through storytelling. We know we passed on stories down because it's, it's, it's much more compelling, you know, to, to listen, read and hear stories and, and pass on stories. And so, you know, growing up, I'm sure you got told stories by your parents and you know i did and we we hear stories in our culture and that's the same thing now that when you, you know 
when we tell stories from, from what we're learning, hey, I, I learned this, or I'm reading this, or, you know, wow, I had this great experience. Um, I, 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 now, this might be a strong word, but I feel people crave that. And I sometimes joke about it that, you know, what do people really go onto social media for? Right? It's, it's, to, it's to spy on everyone else. <laughs> We want to see what everyone else is up to. It's a hu- it's human nature. And so if if someone's coming across my space on social media, my, my Facebook page or whatever I've got, or, or if they subscribe to my email list, if they come across me and I'm just like, I'm, I'm holding everyone at arm's reach. Here's what I want to present to you. Here's my 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 highlight reel of my life. Here, here's just the polished version. It's not that interesting mm. and it makes us, it might make us impressive, but it, but it also has people think, well, why would I talk to Mark about my relationship issue? Why, why would I talk to Mark about this challenge I've got in my business? Mark's perfect. Look, Mark's telling mm. us all the time how, you know, life is so good and it's so great. I bet he got this in no time. He'll probably judge me for not, understanding the principles as deeply as he does it sounds like you know he had one meeting with sydney banks and you know he he was semi-enlightened himself but you know or 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 they you know do that with me and whereas if they can connect with us and see that our our humanness and see what we're learning and it's much more engaging as a um as a way of interacting. 